Was the groin something you were worried that might keep you out? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, wasn't looking forward to not playing, so no. And I know we talked about it last year when you were fighting through the core muscle, but why is it so important for you to be out there every week? Just like playing. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm I just uh, love the feeling of running routes, being able to catch the ball, help my team win. Amari, does the identity of this team still stay with the run to some degree, even though Nick will be out? Um, I never looked at it that way. You know, we uh, preach balance in the offense. So obviously, we want to run the ball well, but we also want to pass the ball well. And uh, I don't think that changes. What do you think has to be done to get the offense working more smoothly than it has the first two games? I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to execution, execution of the plays, no matter what play we call. We just have to go out there and, and play our brand of football. Um, we believe that, you know, when we, when we are playing up to our standard, that, you know, it's not a team that we can go up against who can really match us. Well, then why do you think that hasn't happened the first two games? Uh, like I said, it comes down to the execution of the plays. Um, you know, any play that um, is seen as a, a negative play just simply means that we didn't execute it. When you lose a guy like Nick, do you feel like that adds more the pressure or responsibility to everyone else to kind of pick up the slack that you're missing? Of course. You know, like I said before, you know, I view Nick as our best player. You know, so you know, obviously things change. Um, we definitely have to pick up the slack. Uh, Nick carried a lot of the, the load. He made it really easy for a lot of us. So, yeah. What, what gives you the confidence? I mean, we see Deshaun practice every day and look really good at practice, and you guys have a nice summer. Uh, what gives you the confidence that, you know, he's going to pick his game up and this is going to look better? Yeah, I mean, well, we all need to pick our game up. You know, uh, from my standpoint at wide receiver, I just view it like, you know, the, the more open I can get, the easier to be for Deshaun. You know, um, I like to put the pressure on myself that way. What's the what's Tennessee do defensively? Say it again. What's Tennessee do defensively that that you know is, is going to create a prison a challenge? Yeah, I mean, they have a a, a good defense. Um, they really have. They're really good up front. The defensive line. Uh, they don't really blitz a lot because they depend on their defensive line to apply that pressure. Uh, we just have to stay on time uh, in the passing game, and we'll be all right. You've been through long seasons before. You you know you've been around a lot. I mean, just what can you say to maybe like fans or anybody who's you know sort of a little bit down about the way that game went, and you know about what the future holds for you guys as a football team? It seems like all your goals and dreams are still right around. Yeah, I mean it's all about perspective, really. Um, at the end of the day, we're one and one. Um, what's funny is if we would have lost the first game and won this game, we would have still <laughs> been one and one, and the perspective would have been totally different. You know, everybody would have been much more cheerful, I would say. So it's just all about perspective. How do you feel about coming back to Cleveland Brown Stadium? Uh, you know, it felt so good for you guys to you know, get the crowd all fired up, and here you are back on the lakefront, actually, for your next three games, I think it is. Um, so what's that like to come back and be able to try to do this again yeah. for your fans? Uh, it it's always seems like it's much more pleasant to play at home. It's just more comfortable, I would say. Uh, the crowd is actually for you instead of against you. So from that standpoint, um, it's just much more comfortable. Easy, it's easier to play that way, I would say. How do you think Deshaun's handling just maybe the rocky start? Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, you just try to go out there and play your best uh, brand of football. Um, like I said before, uh, I'm just more so concerned about making it easier for, for Deshaun. Uh, so, and every time we text and communicate, that, that's what I tell him. So as long as I do my job and we, we do our job um, as receivers, running backs, whatever, pass catchers, it'll be much more easier for him. Well, I mentioned... You were on the injury report for not only a groin, but a shoulder injury. Was that something? Dings. and bruises, part of the game. Um, I, I don't go into a game expecting to be healthy, so it is what it is. It's not abnormal through two games to have 
your name on the injury report both weeks? It's not abnormal? Yeah. No. Okay. Hey, Mario, you mentioned perspective before, and you know injuries are always a part of this, but when a player of Nick's caliber and stature goes down, does that, does that bring even more perspective to the, to the idea that every play could be your last, any play could be your last? Yeah, I mean, that's something that's, that's well known. I mean, football is a, a dangerous game. I mean, guys are literally getting paid to hit you. So, yeah. The, the safety for Tennessee, Kevin Byer, pretty good center fielder, he's a ball hawk. Uh, do you have any experience with him in games before? Yeah, of course. You know, I've played against him before. Kind of reminds me of an older version of Minka, who we played in week one, uh, uh, last week. Um, so it's not nothing that we haven't seen before. I mean, he's a ball hog. He's a really good player. We just got to be able to identify him and um, go from there. Amari, you've noted how you know, sort of tragic it was to lose Nick. Um, but what I remember of Kareem over the last four years watching him, making Nick laugh on the sidelines, bringing energy you know, to, to practices and different things like that. Um, what do you think he'll bring? You know, and just in terms of a morale boost for you guys in the aftermath of Nick's loss. Yeah, I mean, if, if the thing about Kareem, he's a very uh, energetic player. Um, one thing that I've noticed about him, I've only played with him a year, but he's always prepared to play on Sunday. He's always ready to play. He's he, he's always making big plays. Uh, he's very durable. Um, he's very dynamic. You can use him in the passing game, um, the running game, and he's a really good pass blocker as well. So. He does, he does a lot of things well.